So I was checking some of the uh, ABC channels. That's Guy Glass working again. It's just on a different user. But my favorites have already been saved on here. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee tweeted this afternoon saying that he was monitoring the tragic this situation TV and that the Tennessee Department on of Safety and Tennessee ABC Highway Dayton, Patrol Ohio. were assisting local law enforcement at the scene. He asks the public to continue praying for the school, congregation, and Nashville community. Shannon Watts, who is the founder of Moms Demand Action, tweeted a photo of a child leaving the school and heading to a reunification center right after the shooting. And Andy Ogles, who represents the district where the Covenant School is located, released a statement saying that as a father of three, he is Interesting that they use dark mode on Twitter. He also thinks the brave first responders who provide support dark throughout mode. this tragedy. Back to you. <laughs> Lydia, thank you, and we will continue to cover this situation as we get more information. You can head over to our website right now at Dayton247now.com. You'll find all of our latest stories on this and updates right there on the homepage. Well, tonight we're hearing from the now former Perry Township Police Chief. Tim Littleton was terminated as conversations continue surrounding New Lebanon potentially taking over police services for Perry Township. So Gwyneth Falloon is live after speaking with the former chief. And Gwen, what is he telling you about this? Megan, Littleton tells me that his termination came as a complete surprise. I spoke with him earlier. He said he was on medical leave for personal reasons at the time of this firing, and he feels betrayed and hurt by the board's decision to terminate him as chief of police. There was a lot of tension between the board of trustees and I. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I've always had an open door policy, uh, not with just the residents of the township, or the officers, but the trustees as well. So when what is the Board of Trustees then saying? Have they said why they chose to fire Littleton? No, the reasoning behind his firing is still a no tonight. I did speak with trustee Zach Music very briefly this afternoon. He says at this time, the board is not discussing why Littleton was terminated by any further. However, for now, Officer Erica Barga is going to handle police matters. That's according to Music. And in a statement released by the Board of Trustees, they say, quote, they say they, quote, anticipate a smooth transition by reorganizing the Perry Township Police Department from within and thank the officers of Perry Township Police Department for the dedication and service to the residents of Perry Township, end quote. Now, this is a developing story, so as new information becomes available, we'll be sure to update you both here on air and online. Back to you. Gwen, thank you. New tonight, the Montgomery County Coroner's Office has now identified the five people that were found dead after a fire on North Broadway Street in Dayton earlier this month. Their names are 33-year-old Brittany Lee Olson, 40-year-old Chrysinda Joe Ray Freeman, 41-year-old Christopher Herman, 30-year-old Andrew Miller, and 37-year-old Laura Sears. The cause and manner of death for all five has not been determined yet, and the cause of that fire is under investigation still. We'll update you here on air and online as soon as we learn anything new. And the coroner's office also releasing the name of a man who was killed over the weekend. 36-year-old Brian Gerth was shot to death on Michelle Corner.